All right, everybody, I have a fun idea. We're gonna try to count the sand in this sandbox. Okay, it might take a little while because there's a lot, but it'll be fun. Let's see, we'll start with just a little pinch. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Guys, this, this is this is a lot of work. I only have a little teeny, teeny, teeny pile after counting and counting and counting and counting. And look at this, there's still a huge sandbox left. I've come to a conclusion. There's no way I can count all this sand. I think that would be impossible. Wow, this is a lot. You know what? Even the Bible talks about sand. Our verses we're about to learn are gonna talk about sand and we should totally go learn them right now. We're still in Psalm 139, mm -hmm. but now we're gonna learn verse 17 and 18. Okay. So Psalm 139, 14 through 18. Psalm 139, 14 through 18. How precious also are your thoughts. How precious also are your thoughts. To me, O oh God. To me, O oh God. Okay, so let's start it from the very beginning. And we'll do it together. Okay. How, How precious also are your thoughts to me, O oh God. God. How great, How great is the sum of them. Is the sum of them. Woo! Okay, that's verse 17. So should we start at the start again? Oh, that's, yeah. With how precious? Okay. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O oh God. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, if I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. They would be more in number than the sand. And we just learned that sand is really hard to count because yeah. there's tons of it and it's teeny tiny. But God's thoughts are way more than that because he knows everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't that strange to imagine knowing everything? Okay, then the very last part, when I awake. Oh, when I awake. I am still with you. I am still with you. Oh, that's a lot. Do you think we can start at the beginning and go all the way through? So starting at how precious? Yes. Okay. From the beginning of how precious also are your thoughts. You guys ready? We're going to try it all together. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O oh God. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Psalm 139, 14 through 18. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. <gasps> Five whole verses. Five whole verses. If you guys have learned all these verses from Psalm 139, you know five whole verses. That is super cool. That is really neat. Okay, so this verse is talking about God's thoughts being precious to us and how innumerable they are. So I want to encourage you. If you have trusted in Jesus to save you from your sins, then he wants you to keep getting to know him better and to treasure his thoughts, to be attentive to him by listening to him. And one really cool way to do that is to read your Bible. So maybe you could read just three verses each day, or maybe how many verses for how old you are. For example, if you're eight years old, you could read eight verses each day. Or if you're 10 years old, you could read 10 verses, and that way you can be listening to God and treasuring his thoughts. Because when you spend time on something, that's like treasuring it, like something important. And so you can spend time with God reading your Bible. And if you've never trusted in Jesus to save you from your sins and you want to know what it means to get to know God and to have that friendship with him, then you can go to God's gift and watch the, some of the videos there to understand that. Or you can ask someone you know who trusts in Jesus and you can ask them more about what that means. And Ms. Brenna, I think that it would be really cool if we went over our verse a little bit more mm -hmm. so that we have them hidden in our hearts okay. and then we can share them with other people. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Are you guys ready for a big challenge? We're going to start at the very, very, very beginning. Verse 14, I will praise you all the way to the end. Okay. We're going to do it all together. Psalm 139, 14 through 18. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. 
Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they all were written, the days fashioned for me when as yet there were none of them. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Psalm 139, 14 through 18. Woo! That's a lot. Cool. That is a lot. Okay. I think that we should do this in a fun way. Okay. Because we've been talking about sand, mm -hmm. and playing in the sand is really, really fun. I, do you guys like to play in the sand? Yeah, I do too. <laughs> so what I think we should do is we should start to make something, something in the sand. Like pretend we're making, you could make a sand castle, you could make a big mountain and carve a little hole in it, whatever you want to do. <laughs> and then we should say all of our verses all the way through, and then we should swoosh away all the sand. Okay. Okay? Okay. You think we could do it? I think so. Are okay, so build, build something, something really fun. I'm going to make a castle. I'm going to make a lighthouse. Ooh, that's really cool. A tall one. I feel like there should be a gate, right? In my imagination, it turns out perfectly. I really like it. You have to use a lot of imagination for mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, me too, but it's cool. So finish your, your whatever you made with your sand and your imagination. We're going to do our verses and then smoosh it all away. Okay. Psalm 139, 14 through 18. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they all were written, the days fashioned for me when as yet there were none of them. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O oh God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Psalm 139, 14 through 18. And swish it all away. Oh, it looks nice. It's all smoothed out, ready to make something new. I like it. Good job, guys. So remember, these verses are talking about how valuable and precious you are to God, and he wants you to also treasure the things that he has said in his thoughts. So I encourage you to read your Bible each day, maybe three verses each day or verses for how old you are, so that you can keep on getting to know God better. And if you've never trusted in Jesus to save you from your sins, then he wants you to understand that and to put your trust in him to save you. So if you would like to know more about that, you can go to the videos God's Gift and look at those, and you can also talk to someone who knows Jesus, who you trust, and they can help you in your struggle.